That's the way execute. The office of President of the United States. Office of President of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. From the swearing in to a live look now at the White House, where tonight there is a new president living there. Joe Biden is now the 46th president of the United States. This afternoon, just before 4 o'clock, President Biden and the First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden, walked into their new home. Won't be the typical inaugural balls held this evening. Instead, in about 30 minutes, a primetime special celebrating America will air on every major network, and we will take you to it as soon as it begins. And President Biden has already taken action, signing 17 executive orders, many that undo Trump-era policies, and among them, a mask requirement on federal property. Orders extend to the nationwide eviction moratorium, stopping the border wall construction, and returning the U.S. to the Paris Climate Accord. I want to thank you for joining us for this special inauguration edition of World uh, WJLA 24-7 News. I'm Jonathan Elias. And I'm Michelle Marsh. For the next hour, we will bring you all the sights and sounds of this historic day. And it was something else today, Michelle, because it started off with a little bit of snow, a little overcast. There was some concern that the weather was really going to take center stage. And then all of a sudden we saw the sun come out, the, car, the clouds parted, and the next thing you know, we had a gorgeous day. Yeah. The layers of security were something else, though, you got to admit. Of course, you've had a front row seat to witness the layers of security, and you've seen it build over the days. You've been down there for a number of days, but this is really going to be a day remembered despite all of the security, a day that is so steep in history. You think about a woman rising to the highest office that we have seen in this country in Kamala Harris, and then Joe Biden being sworn in, the 46th president, now the oldest president in our country's history, and both former senators and both now facing incredible challenges. You spoke about some of the executive orders, John. Yeah, they have a tremendous amount of work to do. Today is the celebratory part of it, but Day one is really right now, and they are already getting to work. They have to fix the economy. Uh, the vaccine rollout also needs to be corrected. And, of course, advancing racial equity is on uh, President Biden's list of things that he really wants to address. <clears throat> Well, and add to that list, we have a divided co a country, not just along racial lines, but also along party lines. And it seems that's a pretty big divide as well. 74 million people voted for President Trump, and there is still a pretty high level of rhetoric from both sides that keeps that division at least wide enough that perhaps maybe somebody will start to calm it down, tap it down, and bring them back to the middle. And on top of that, we're dealing with this pandemic. You're talking about shots in arms and getting out the uh, the vaccines in time. Right now, there's only been between 14, they say, and 18 million doses out. President Biden has a very aggressive plan of 100 million doses in the first 100 days. Hopefully they can reach that number. It would be nice. But as you know, for the backdrop for today's inauguration, there was a lot of anxiety about this day, what it might bring after the Capitol Hill riots that we all witnessed just two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks to this day. It's just incredible to think about what has happened in that time. But everything was peaceful as tens of thousands of police and National Guard troops stood guard 25 thousand just incredible abc 7's tom rousey has been on capitol hill all day for us he joins us live now with a day that had to be really tom if you think about it a mix of joy and relief that there was no incident today yeah it's crazy michelle because we've been talking all week about the security and how it was so heavy and all and a lot of our reports focused on that but once this ceremony started don't get me wrong it was in the back of your mind what if somebody tries something but it kind of felt normal in some ways. In other ways, it did not. Of course, it took place on the west front of the Capitol, which you can see is now still well lit at night, and it looks beautiful in the nighttime there. That is the traditional place since the first inauguration of Ronald Reagan where it has taken place. So that part of it felt normal, but, you know, a lot of other stuff certainly did not feel normal, especially when you looked around and you didn't see a crowd of the public, but instead you saw crowds of National Guard troops. Here is a recap of some of what the new president said said in his inaugural address with three ex-presidents.